OK, so what they're asking us to do is to plot a figure, our original figure, and then to um, flap the transformation, then determine it, are these similar or not. OK? Now, remember, guys, when we were trying to determine if, if things were congruent um, or anything, we had to find the distances. That, you know, if we were going to determine like if it was a rectangle round, so we plotted them, we applied distance for them, make sure like diagonals were equal or opposite sides were equal and so forth. So in this case, first thing we've got to do is plot them. So the first point is 1, 4. Then we have 2, 2. Then we have 5, 5. Okay. Then the next one is we have negative 3, 6. Negative 1, 2, 3, 6. Then we have 0, 0. And then we have 9, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6, 7, 8, 9. So What you guys see here is we have two figures where the blue is our original and the brown is our, tra is our uh, scale factored triangle. Now they look like they're pretty similar, right? But what is the, how are we going to be able to determine if they are proportional? We know that their side lengths have to be proportional to each other, correct? Correct? Now, how do we determine the lengths of those sides? How are we going to do that? Huh? One more time? One more time. The distance formula, right? And so you guys should be doing, have done the distance formula so many times, you're sick of the distance formula, but you're confident and you know how to do it, right? So this is a very confusing problem unless at first we have everything labeled. So that's m at 1 comma 4. This is p at 2 comma 2. This is q at 5 comma 5, all right? Over here, this is going to be t at 0 comma 0. This is s at negative 3, 6. And this is u at 9 comma 9. I can't tell you how many times, guys, I've seen students do draw the graphs, and then they don't plot them. And when they do the distance formula, they forget to use the correct points. It only takes a couple seconds, Kaylee, for me to label these two triangles. Now I can determine which distances I want to. So Sierra, which sides of the triangles would you like me to determine which are proportionate or not? Which ones? The left side, the tops, or the bottom? OK, the top. So let's go and do, well, what we'll do is we'll find the distance of both of these diagonals. All right. So the distance of the first diagonal I'm going to do is SU. I want to find the length of that diagonal. So to do that, remember, remember the distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2, y2 my y1 squared. All right. Now remember, guys, whatever points you've labeled as x and y does not really matter. You just need to pick two points and then subtract them and then square it. So for su, I'm just going to subtract my x-coordinates. So I'm just going to go from left to right. I'm going to say negative 3 minus 9 squared plus, now subtract the y-coordinates, 6 minus 9 squared. Okay. This is negative 3 minus 9, which is negative 12. That's 144 squared. Plus 6 minus um, 9 is going to be negative 3. That's going to be plus 9. So that equals the square root of 153. Okay. Then um, the next point u, which is 9, 9. So now the next point, what I'm going to do is go ahead and, um, oh, I got to do now m to q. So I'll say mq. Again, doing the same thing. Subtract the x-coordinates, subtract the y-coordinates. So I say 1 minus 5 squared plus 4 minus 5 squared. So 1 minus 5 squared is going to be negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. 4 minus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is going to be 1. So that equals the square root of 17. All right. So now we've pegged these two. 
But remember, to find, to find similar triangles, we have to have a proportion that's equivalent to each other, not just a ratio. So now we need to pick two other sides. So Damon, what other two sides would you like me to find um, the ratio between their sides? The left side or these bottom sides? Damon? Damon, are you OK? Damon, Damon. Oh, OK, all right. Um, oh, it's OK. Would you like me to do the left side or the bottom side to find that? Because we need to find a ratio. The bottom, all right? So Damon wants to find the ratio of these two sides. So I'll do TU. So I'll write TU over here. TU equals the square root, again, subtracting 0 minus 9 squared plus 0 minus 9 squared. Well, 0 minus 9 is negative 9. Negative 9 squared is 81. And we'll have 81 for the other one. So that's going to be 162. OK? Then over here, we have PQ. So PQ, again, is the square root. Subtract the x-coordinate, subtract the y-coordinate. So I have 2 minus 5 squared plus 2 minus 5 squared. Well, 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9 plus 9, which is the square root of 18. OK? So now, ladies and gentlemen, can I erase my figure now? Or I'll, maybe I'll leave it up there. Now what I want to do is we need to be able to determine is from SU to MQ, this equal to TU to PQ. So I'll say that again. Is the square root of 153 divided by the square root of 17 equal to the square root of 162 over the square root of 18? OK? So now what we're going to do is we need to cross multiply. So you have the square root of 17 times the square root of 162 equal to the square root of seven, um, square root of 153 times the square root of 18. So then you need to take your handy dandy calculator. And we don't need to actually take the square roots of the number. We can just multiply them under the square root. And for 17 times 162, I have 2,754 equals 153 times 18, 2,754. So since when I create a proportion, so that proportion I'm able to prove is equal to each other, right? So therefore, are these similar? Are they similar to each other? Yeah, they're proportional to each other, right? Very good. Um, and I believe that was OK. And yeah, and they didn't ask us to find a factor. So we just got to be able to show that the dilations um, are equal to each other.